Yeah, I, um, I don't know if you can hear it. The, the traffic is starting to rev up in uh, Barcelona. It's 5.05. Uh, and my son lives on fer a fairly busy street. We're looking to see if we can get him moved someplace else. Uh, I want to talk about life and synchronicity. And uh, synchronicities are an event that uh, Carl Jung, I believe, coined uh, mostly. And he... Uh, one of the stories that was told was he was with a psychotic patient and trying to explain how crazy the universe is. And the patient was talking about a particular type of beetle uh, that was not indigenous to Switzerland. And as they were talking, uh, this bug came through, was banging on the windows, trying to get in the windows of the therapy room, and finally opened up the window. And it was this particular type of beetle that they had been talking about, which was not indigenous to Switzerland. And the patient uh, quit being psychotic, uh, basically because, because they saw the insanity of the universe. The, talking about this bug that wasn't indigenous, for it to fly into the room uh, in this synchronous event. And synchronicity is one of the things that I can't, <laughs> I can't say I've, I've come to rely on. I, as often as I can, I uh, continue to be amazed by it. Uh, on a is a client of mine. She's a chiropractic student. She's done my classes. She loves what I do. Uh, and we were meeting for lunch uh, last week. In my household, I was going to take, we were all going to go to lunch, and things got uh, crazy around this gas bill thing. And so I jumped on uh, one of my son's roommate's bicycles, which I have the permission to use, by the way. And I was pedaling down this main street. It's, it's a, there's a bicycle path. There's two lanes of traffic, a huge boulevard with a bicycle path in it in Barcelona. It's like a Joan of Arc street or something. It's not, it's not right, but it's close. Uh, and it goes to the Arc of Triomphe and down to the zoo and stuff. And I'm riding along, and uh, the scooter goes by. And I wonder if that's Anna. And the scooter stops. She turns around and starts laughing. She said, follow me. We were only a few blocks from the restaurant. Uh, we got to the restaurant. She said, you know, I was riding, and I saw you, and I started to second-guess myself and thought, oh, that wouldn't be Mick. And she said, then I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm meeting Mick. His whole world is around synchronicity. His whole world is around creating events or allowing events to happen that are completely different and spontaneous. And she said, so I just stopped my bike. And she said, and I knew it was you. And like I said, when she went by, uh, I knew it was her. So we had lunch, uh, and things continued to be a little chaotic here, so I said, well, look, you've got things to do. Let's meet later for a drink down at the beach. Uh, then you can meet my wife and stuff. And we arranged the time, and I, the kids and Nicole left for the beach. I had some things to do, videos, I think, got on the videos, and didn't lose track of time, got on the bicycle, and the bicycle, you can get really quickly to the beach, 12, 15 minutes, and uh, it's downhill both ways, which is really neat. Uh, and... The, I got to a corner and there were Nicole and the kids and I'm thinking, wow, it's working and I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. <laughs> the synchronicity thing is flashing to me. Well, then it took 20 to 25 to 30 minutes to meet up with Anna again. We were where we could see each other but we couldn't and we were texting back and forth and calling and it was like one of the most frustrating things because we kept trying to meet up. We finally did figure out and she had to walk away and ride her scooter and we were, like I said, we could see each other from where we had started the texting, but we'd never, we, but it was far enough away that we, we didn't. Uh, I think, and this is what Claire said, my co-author's organizer and uh, inspiration uh, for a lot of things, said it's a delicate balance. Life is a delicate balance to stay out in synchronicity, out where things move, out where the universe comes to. It's a delicate balance. Uh, I said, just said to her, I'm going to go to the beach now, which I am in just a few minutes. And she said, oh, it's a tough life. And I said, yes, I will handle the fun for humanity until they catch up with me. I'm going to the beach. Have a fun day. Uh, talk to you soon. www.micpeakperformance. Uh, what we're about is a magnificent lifestyle. Uh, traveling, doing what you want. And if it is not a creative process, it is an electromagnetic process. And to get you to vibrate to where that life is attracted to you is my job. Have fun.